Hello, my chicken nuggets. I would love a chicken nugget right now. I'm very hungry. I'm an eating machine right now. Like I could eat everything in sight. I must be doing my period. I just want to munch, 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 munch. Luckily for me, actually, I'm going to an Italian literally after I film this. Me and a big group, I think there's like 20 of us going to an Italian. I'm surprised you let us book it. Dude, no, there's so many of us that we booked it and we have to go in a function suite. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am being so frequent, it's so crazy. I know that is not something I should be proud of, like this is literally what I call my job. So, um, yeah, it's just a given that I'm here, but you know what? Celebrate the small wins. Who likes my hair? I had it done this morning. I went to um, a wee salon in town, Alan, Alan Edwards, and I had this like Kerstas treatment thing. She waved it all for me and I love it. I freaking love it. Um, really voluminous, fun, kind of giving Meredith from Brave. Take what you will from that. I have not filmed a haul where I have just spent my money in forever. Like, I mean, this is not an ad. None of this was gifted. I spent an alarming amount of money, which you actually would have seen from the title of the video. And just want to start off by saying, oh, that is the ick. The title of this video is the ick. I know it's the ick, but guys, that's what draws you in. If you see some, excuse me. Like, let's be serious, you've seen the title of this video and you thought, what in the darn carnation has that girl spent £1,800 on? Well, that's why you're here and that's what ties you in. It's a funny old game of YouTube. You do have to kind of, ha have to lap up on the clickbait and thumbnails these days to get the old views. Anyway, I just wanted to start by saying I do not spend money like that. I have never spent money like that. It is really out of the blue, it's not something I do often, I am kind of low-key hating myself today for doing it, but long story cut short, I have been working hard and it's time to play hard, I actually am quite good with money, I actually save quite a lot, why am I justifying my spending habits, I don't know, maybe case my mum and dad are watching, but I just decided yesterday I'm just going to treat myself, it was some retail therapy and yeah, I, I did, I spent that money, but anyway, it's so piping, I hate talking about money, I don't want to ever look like I'm showing off, I never want to be flashy, there's literally people, there's literally people out there struggling for money, so it's embarrassing to flash it, oh my god, my brain does overtime, <sighs> anywho, yesterday I went to the shops, me, Abby and Molly went through Edinburgh, the capital, because they have St James Quarter, which is the best shop Ever. It's got so much in it. Bershka, Pull and Bear, Stradivarius. Shops it, I can personally only find abroad. Well, they've got them in the city next door to me. So we went through, got some content done and done some shopping. And I didn't expect to buy the big thing I bought, but I did. And anyway, here's a haul. I'm going to show you all the things I got because I bought like really like transitional pieces because you know me I really struggle with the transitional period and how to dress but not anymore since I got these new locks yeah she's crazy I've got a whole new style Whoa. right I'll start off by showing you the clothes I bought I got these leggings I actually was going to wear them this morning but instead I just put on my wee grey ones they're from Stradivarius I won't try them on because this is them in grey um $15.99, the best $15.99 you're ever going to spend. They're so comfortable, just your everyday. Like I've just got this on with a wee... Oh, I'm so uncomfortable. You know, my bra's not sitting right and I'm bloated and I'm... Eh, pretty crazy colour for me. What is this, like, khaki green? Didn't realise I was into stuff like this. But anyway, got these. Just simple pimple, perfect of a hoodie, t-shirt, a vest. You name it, we pair of leggings, can of go wrong. Then in Pull and Bear, I got this. I actually um, have this saved online and then I seen it yesterday, I thought, don't mind if I do. Just a wee sweatshirt. This is very me. Like, no matter what Megan, the new Megan, the old Megan, any Megan would have wore this. So just this wee jumper. It's from Smiley. And this has got all this wee like, detail all over it. So again, just perfect for we pair of leggings, joggies, jeans, cargoes, perfect for the transitional period. Plop, oh, this is different. Next up, I got this jacket. Uh, this is also pulling bear. 
Okay, very cool. So a wee racer's jacket. It's quite, I'll try it on for you. It's quite fitted. I don't know if I'll get it on over a hoodie. I personally would not wear a hoodie under it. I'd just wear like a wee vest. But this is it. It's cool. Cool. Nice, isn't it? I'm thinking like the wee kind of sporty sunglasses I keep wearing. Like my dickies trousers, maybe a wee skirt. Cool. I like it. Picasso. I like it. Okay, next up I got this wee skirt, which I love. Um, it's black, pinstripe. I can't be bothered to take my leggings off, so I'll just try it on over. Right, I mean, you're definitely not getting the full effect. Did I get the right size? Definitely not getting the full effect here. I understand this looks a wee bit strange, obscure, but just nice wee skirt, isn't it? Um, I actually am getting involved in the loafers, which is really crazy. I did not, I did not see that one coming. That is something that I didn't expect to see myself in is loafers. But anyway, picture this with like wee white socks, loafers, a wee vest, even this skirt with the jacket I just had on there. Quite cool. I enjoy a wee skirt. I really do. A wee skirt is just nice and girly. Um, but also nice and comfy. Anything, anything that doesn't give you a wedgie, I'm here for. A wee hoodie. Can't be a hoodie. It's hoodie wearer. I just needed clothes that I can just go into my wardrobe and shove on. Like comfort for running into the shops, for going to get a coffee, for going to Nando's, going to the cinema and just easy comfy clothes. So I've got this hoodie. It's quite scary for me because it's black. But loving all the colours on it. Love is a game. Good luck. Do you want to play? Oh. That's a bit cheeky, Bershka. Then, oh, my absolute favourite thing to wear at the moment is parachute trousers. They're the comfiest. They're the coolest. They're so versatile. Like, you can wear them to all different occasions. I love parachute trousers. And guys, I really recommend these Bershka ones, they are not as expensive as the Motel Rocks one. They're quite dear. So I got this colour. Given carrot vibes, the orange and green, but I love these. I can't be bothered trying them on, but I tried them on in the shop yesterday and they fit very, very, very nicely. Love the colour of these, nice and vibrant. I actually sized up in case any of you are wondering. So I like them to be really baggy. But that would be nice with the wee hoodie I just showed you. So I love those. And that is that for the clothes. So that's all the clothes I bought. Then I stumbled in to Harvey Nicks. And I, I actually, oh, oh, update on the suitcase, guys. I have been given confirmation that the case is gone. She has fallen off the face of the earth um who knows how she's defying gravity she has just slipped off of the earth via london heathrow into the atmosphere and nobody's stopping her she's like a free spirit and honestly good on her that wee blue calpac suitcase she is out there living life and she is not playing by any rules so my case is officially gone and british airways have stopped looking for it um to be honest they're just probably just so sick of me emailing and calling and wh whatever the fuck i've been doing for the past six weeks so they've just threw in the towel and they've said shut up take some compensation and goodbye so that's that's the case yeah the, literally um the compensation i am i'm grateful i'm getting compensation because I didn't have travel insurance. Yes, that was a huge mistake. I did not realise my annual one had run out because everyone's like, why didn't you have travel insurance? I, I, I know you're supposed to have that. I'm not a dummy. I realised that, but mine had run out and I didn't notice because I just had other things on my mind. So I didn't have travel insurance, so I thought I'm not getting a penny for this. But because British Airways lost it and they're thrown in the towel, they have to give you money. So it's like a box standard amount that anybody would get if they lost their case. But you know what? It's not the worst. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. So I thought I'm going to go into Harvey Nichols and get some jewellery because I have none. 
it's still missing but i've not actually had the compensation yet so i better not hold my breath but i thought i'll buy a wee bit of jewelry then i just i just tumbled into the balenciaga bit and before i knew it this bag was in my hands i didn't plan for it to work out this way but it was almost like a sign it was like a sign from the universe. I did treat myself to a new wee handbag. Um, and this is a this is a big treat. I, I will make you aware that this is the most money I have ever spent in my life. My hand was shaking putting in my card. I could barely type in my pin from my hand like this. Like, I just do not spend this kind of money. It's, 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 uh, it's wild. But you know what? You only live once. And money is there to be spent. Do, 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 do. She's still got her packaging on. Let me take this off. I, I'm obsessed with denim right now. Denim is chef's kiss. I'm really, really liking it. And I feel like with my hair, it really goes. How do you get this off? Oh, no, I don't want to scratch it. How do you get this off? Oh, wow. She is so fresh. You're gorgeous. Right. Oh, wow, Zerini's. Here she is. Oh, my God. It's actually, it's actually even more gorgeous than I remember. So I, I've actually always wanted um, one of the Balenciaga hourglass bags. I have a wee totally teeny, teeny mini one that I got in London, but it actually, the only thing you can fit in it is Mac Velvet Teddy. Or any other shade, to be honest, but all, all you can fit in is one of those wee bullet lipsticks. So it was maybe a waste of money. I love it, but it was it was a bit of a silly purchase i've always wanted one of these but i always thought no like i'm not spending that on it i actually have a fake one of these so the fact i'm holding a real one to me is fucking crazy like i am really confused how i'm in a position where i could afford to buy this i sorry i feel so painful talking about this but I, I, I do you know what is an achievement i'm proud of myself for one doing the job i love and two being able to treat myself every so often to something that is glorious as this so this is her oh sorry my wee camera died there um so i can wear her like this hold her like that or i've got this wee shoulder strap that i can take off if i want or have on if i want and um, put it over my body like that uh, i absolutely love this love 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 the bank of Megano is officially closed until further notice 100 percent. that was quite the hit she took yesterday but do you know what we all deserve a wee treat now and again. I love her. Mm -hmm. mm, wow. It smells like a new couch. But also chicken nuggets. I just wanted to say a big thank you because the fact that you watch my videos and you follow me on Instagram and you buy the things I promote, yeah, 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 is the reason that I get to go out and have wee shopping trips like this. So I am so, so lucky. I'm so aware of that. Um, I'm always in two minds whether or not I share this because it is a bit embarrassing and I suppose it's insensitive to people who are actually struggling, struggling whilst I'm out just splashing cash on a handbag. But I just share my life with you and... Oh god, I don't know. I just wanted to say thank you anyway for sticking around and allowing this to be my job. I'm so grateful and I'm going to go and enjoy my handbag and I'm going to go and enjoy some Italian food with my friends. Thank you so much for watching Chicken Nuggets. This is just a wee quick haul. Um, I'm going to vlog next week. I'm going to London actually. How exciting is this? I'm going to Ekin Sue. Ekin, who? You are a liar. Actress, get the fuck out. I'm going to Ek and Sue's Old Polly event. We are going to London. So I'm going to vlog that for you. That'll be really fun. There's like a bunch of the girls going. We're going for two nights. It's going to be really fun. So stay tuned for the London vlog. Woohoo! I will see you soon, chicken nuggets. I love you.